Sentence. Now, the district attorney's office says this conviction is the first in New York State using familial DNA testing. 13 Wham, Stephen Pappas has more on that from Rochester investigators. Stephen. Well, good evening. Familial DNA was integral in the conviction on Timothy Williams, but some in the Rochester Police Department say it needs to be more readily available. Captain Frank Umbrino with the Major Crimes Unit relieved that after 40 years of uncertainty, the family of Wendy Jerome has finally seen justice be served. Words cannot describe what these guys are feeling, you know, what I'm feeling, uh, what the entire unit is feeling right now. The district attorney's office says the conviction of Timothy Williams is the first using familial DNA testing in New York State. It's a tool used to search for family members of an unknown person using DNA from a crime scene. The familial DNA and any type of DNA databases that we have are, are critical to, to law enforcement. But it's a resource Umbrino says requires an act of God to use. One of the things that we really need to look at moving forward is how to allow investigators, especially in investigations of this nature, to access the information that is readily available, okay. you know, quicker. Umbrino says the department has a room full of cold cases, but finding time for available investigators and prosecutors is a challenge. He says fortunately in the case against Timothy Williams, they were able to overcome those challenges. Time and resources is a huge thing. We need to be able to utilize the DNA that's out there because DNA doesn't lie. Umbrino saying he was confident that investigators did everything possible to bring closure to the family. Matt.